Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to VSR Technical Channel. This video will show you how to connect the PBX and the TA gateway remotely via FQDM. For example, your gateway is in branch office A and the PBX is in office B. And after watching this video, you are available to make outbound calls by PVX extensions through the PSTN line in ESR Gateway and can receive inbound from the gateway to PBX extensions. For today's outline, you can refer to this picture in the screen. OK, let's jump in. Here's the main configuration steps. 1. Establish the trunk between the two devices via account trunk and reject trunk. 2. Create outbound route in PBX and IP to port in TA gateway. 3. Create inbound route in PBX and port to IP in TA gateway. And now we start from part 1. Build a safe trunk between PBX and the TA gateway. Look at this PBX web interface. To enable this remote connection, you need to make sure you have subscribed the license for the FQDN. Okay. Let's go to extension and trunk. Click add, write the trunk name, trunk type as account trunk, and then click and save the setting. Apply. And the most importantly, make sure the trunk has the permission of remote access. If not, then you cannot use the trunk remotely. Now look at the gateway web. Go to gateway. Find the VOIP trunk. Click add. Select the trunk type as trunk. Set a name for this trunk. Write the IP and the domain as the FQDM domain. Fill in the registration information as the one in PBX. Click Save and Apply. Now wait for a few seconds to see if the trunk is built in both PBX and the Gateway. And now let's jump into part 2. Create outbound route in PBX and IP to port in Gateway. In this part, we have two scenarios. The first is to make outgoing calls through all FXO ports. The second is to make outgoing calls through one specific FXO port. Now let's move into the first scenario in outbound route. Allow all the extensions to make outgoing calls through all the FXO ports. Go to Call Control Outbound Route. Click Add Set a Root Name. Use the default dial pattern X dot. Select the account trunk we set before. Select all the extensions. Click and save the settings. And now go to the gateway web. Go to port group. Set the name and select all the available trunks. Now go to IP2 port. Set the name. Select the call source as the zip trunk we set before. The call destination as the port group. Click and save. Now, all the extensions on PBX can make outgoing calls through the gateway. Now, let's move into the second scenario in outbound route. Allow the extensions to make calls through the specific ports. We don't have to change the settings in PBX, just add a new route in the gateway. Set the simple mode to no. Set the root name and set the DID number you want. For example, we set one dot here 
and choose the call destination as chunk one. Now, when your extension start the numbers start with one, they will use the port one in the gateway. Part three, create inbound route in PBX and the gateway. After configuring this port, you can receive calls from the FXO ports in gateway. Now let's jump into the PBX web. Select the call control, inbound route. Click add, set a root name. Select DID matcher mode as DID pattern. Set the number in the DID. The number is used to match the incoming calls from the gateway. For example, we set 8888 here. Select the six chunk. Set the destination as FVR. Also, you can set the incoming destination as Q or FVR or extensions. Click Save and Apply. Let's add a new one. Set the pattern as 9999 here. Select the chunk and set the destination. Now let's move into the TA Gateway web. Go to port to IP, click Add. Select the root name. Select the call source as chunk one, the call destination as zip chunk. Set the hotline as 8888. And now add a new one. Set the root name. Select the call source as chunk two, the call destination as zip chunk. Set the hotline as 9999. After the inbound setting above, when incoming calls the port 1, the call will go to the AVR. When incoming calls the port 2, the call will go to the queue. Alright guys, thanks a lot for your patience at the time. If you want to watch more detailed guide about our ear stuff, Please visit our website. See you guys.